Hey guys, welcome to another Jaffo Paints videos. We are back with the Massive Darkness setting. We are working today with the Heroes of Monster set Blood Moon Assassins versus the Elephant. If you guys remember in a previous video, we have painted up the wonderfully uh, named Elephant. Today, this is who we're going to paint. The sort of ninja assassin looking warrior priest chick, Victoria. Here she is. As you see my gigantic bear paw going and grabbing all of what I've got for you guys. Alright, so. If we take a look at her card real quick one more time. She's a lot of purples, a lot of silvers, lots of browns. Well, a little bit of browns, a little bit of gold. My favorite thing in the world, flesh. Very little of it. Um, and that's it. So, the color palette that I have chosen for today, we have some Nagaroth Knight, um, some Xerxes Purple, and Jean Stealer Purple, along with some Druki Eye Violet. That is going to be all of our purple, which is a majority of this model, actually. Um, well, as always, we've got XV88 for any leather, and Retributor Armor for any of gold. We've got Null Noil to make that leather look a little bit better. And make the metal look a little bit better. We've got Lead Belcher for all of the armor, which will get highlighted with uh, Iron Breaker. We'll do all of her... She's got like an outer suit in gray, so we're going to use some Eshin gray. And actually, you know what? Let's change that up. We're going to use some Mechanicus standard gray, which is actually what she's primed in. And then we'll uh, edge in uh, Eshin gray. For flesh, we will start with Acadian Flesh Tone and highlight up to uh, Kislev, and we will shade that with Reichlin Flesh Shade. Let me get all of these hundreds of paints out of the way, and you know, but you know me, we'll uh, kind of make up, make this up as we go. But the one we're going to start with this time today, let's bring our star back into focus here. <clears throat> and most of this model will be painted with my Citadel small layer paint layer brush. We're going to start with the Nagaroth Knight. And this one is pretty straightforward. It is literally, it's going to be all the cloak there, all of that there. Go there. Uh, it looks to be her uh, brazier. Uh, her face there, her face there. This is kind of a paint by numbers, guys, and I'm showing you all the numbers right now. So hopefully you guys are all following along. So I'm going to crack on on that, and I will be right back, guys. There we go. With that, we have, I mean, crap, almost like half the model done. Um, I have taken some artistic designs here, and I'm going to make this part is part of the headdress, which will be gray. Um, the exposed legging here, while it looks to be flesh on the uh, picture itself, actually looks to be uh, gray. Um, so we'll put a little bit of gray in there. So the first thing we're going to do before we do that, of course, is uh, switch over. We're going to use our shade, our Druki Eye Violet. And we're going to do an all-over shade with this. An all-over shade, meaning we're going to just literally schlop it on. That is a technical Wisconsin term, kids. Schlop. Um, if you don't know what it means, look it up. Um, but pretty much, we're just going to cover everything that we did in purple. We're going to cover it in purple ink. And then when you're dumb and realize that you're painting, and this happens a lot, at least for me, you'll realize you miss spots like underneath its armpit and stuff like that. So, this is another reason why we shade after we ink, or after we paint, because it helps us catch mistakes like that. So we're gonna just shade here, shade all of this, and I, on the back here, I decided to make this uh, a little separation, as you guys can see. So we got some shade, and this is just gonna help bring out the depth of character of this cloak, which we'll uh, do in the highlighting stage, will kind of bring up that uh, interesting look to it. And now this is one of two Warrior Priest models that we're going to be working on in the coming weeks. 
The, the other one is the essentially the male version of this, which is Malleus. <clears throat> he is from the Warrior Priest box set. So, so now that you got that done, the next one I'm going to do is Mechanicus Standard Gray. And that is just to uh, kind of touch up all of the, the gray that's already existent. So we're going to go over all around her neck here. And literally, you're going to be painting gray on top of gray, but you just want to make sure you have a smooth, clean coat. And when you realize that this is not the dark enough gray, you say, screw that. And you go to your other grays and you grab something different. And I want a different gray, so I'm going to use Ashen Gray. So now I'm going to change that. We're going to grab some Eschen Gray, and this is going to be a little bit darker. And now that I see it, it's much darker, much happier. So actually, save that Mechanicus, because we're going to actually go in reverse here. We're actually going to use a layer paint as a base paint, and a base paint as a layer paint. As my assistant's looking at me like I'm kind of mental. So, all that blathering, we're going to switch to Eschen Gray. And... We're going to paint this on, and this is, we're going to just go all the way through all of this. Be careful not to touch the, uh, the purple that we've already laid down. And then we also want to get around her neck here. So we got all of this right here. Uh, we're looking at doing the thigh right there. And in by her arm there. And depending on how you built it, how it's built, how it's painted, how it's sculpted, whatnot, you may want to get into there. This looks like it should be okay. So I will clean that all up and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. We have now added some gray to this, and I think I've decided that I'm going to be inking this, so we'll show you what we're going to do. But because we're going to use uh, the black ink on a couple of things, um, we're going to switch over and do all of our silver. So I've got Lead Belcher on my uh, palette, and what we're looking to do is... Nah, screw it. Let's do it the easy way for you guys. We'll do all of the boot. We want the gauntlets, the elbow pads, the shoulder pads, the sword blade. Again, paint by numbers, kids. Paint by numbers. So the sword blade and the inside of this one. And that's that and that shoulder pad. Oh, and her stomach plate. So I'm going to clean that all up. I'll be right back. There we go, we got the next uh, layer added, and this is just starting to come together as such a, uh, an amazing looking model. Um, I did go ahead now, I've grabbed my XV88, and it's time to add the leather, and this is the last color that we need to add, I believe, and I'll, you know me, I'll screw that up, I'm sure, but this is the last color we need to add um, before we go to our black ink. Um, I did notice that I accidentally painted purple, there is a very tiny... Uh, bag on this side then we're going to do that so we'll paint this little leather pouch right here she's got tiny little leather pouches everywhere and then we're going to take this and it's going to go across into that so and i got such a small amount here i'll show you how tiny this is and how well i can do this or fail at doing this uh, I'm going to get this tiny little pouch back here. And then we're going to take it down. It is this wire right here. You just want to make sure you take your time. When needed, just clean your brush off. Get yourself a nice fine point. 
a little bit more paint and there we go and that's pretty much all of the leather that's on her at least the leather in the the uh, style that we're going to do um, if you look at the figure or the picture of course the image is a lot cleaner but we've got that leather there um, this right here we're going to turn gold but we don't want to black that so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our null oil And while you got that very fine point on there, you want to cover all of the leather in uh, null oil. And that'll just darken that up so that it looks more leathery. Um, we're going to get all of her chest and her shoulders, pretty much everywhere that you've turned silver. And gray, we're now going to cover in black ink. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. There we go. We now have all of that inked. Um, I did make a few things that I realized I made mistakes on. Well, not mistakes, more of uh, omissions. Um, I colored the handle in leather wrapping. Um, and then I also did very, very mild, very mild uh, line right down to there. Um, and that just is the, the wire that her little medallion is hanging off of. Um, and look, you can tell where you, uh, when you don't uh, uh, ink properly. Just so you guys can see it. Do you see the tide mark here? There's a difference between and uh, here. Let me clean my brush off real quick. This is what you want to make sure you avoid. Right here. You see the silver and the not silver. The silver and the not silver. And we're going to go back in. We're just going to cover that up. And we'll bring this over into here. So when you're putting on your inks, just make sure that you get full coverage. So that you don't have issues like that show up. So the last two colors that I'm going to add before we get to our tabletop or, or light tabletop stopping is we have our Retributor Armor Gold, and I'm just going to do both of these off camera, and our <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, Arcadian Flesh Tone. The Cadian Flesh Tone is going to be for her hands, so I'll do that one first. So we got that there, that there and in there okay as for her gold this one's we're just gonna do the i don't know what the hell that's called not the tang but the hilt i guess yeah the hilt the hilt the pommel and that medallion down there um if you want to make this look a little bit more like the card, um, you could put gold strapping on this piece here. So we could go... And it, it will give it a little bit more life, a little bit more color. Because uh, I will admit she's kind of opaque. A kind of dingy, dank, dark. Um, but we'll go up to this way. So we'll put that there. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to paint all this all up. I will show you what it looks like in a minute. I'll be right back. There we go. With that, we now have all of our colors applied. And we should have, if you've been following my little paint-by-numbers system here, you should have a fully painted model. This, if placed on your tabletop, I personally feel would look amazing and bring a lot of life of character to your tabletop and to your Massive Darkness board game. And if you do what I do and cheat and use this for your uh, regular D&D groups, it would also make an awesome model for that as well. Um, of course, if you want to go farther, stay tuned and watch as we go farther up. So the next two colors that I have on my palette that I'm going to work with is my Mechanicus Standard Gray Base and my Xerxes Purple. For the gray, 
we're really gonna or we're pretty much looking to just do edge highlighting and you just want to get like the folds of this they're around here um, just want to kind of get around the edges of her her cloak her cowl or whatever this is and you want to do this as well and that's pretty much what we're looking to do just bring a little bit of character to that it's not going to be very uh, noticeable and yet trust me you'll notice it I know it's funny to say that um, with the Xerxes purple this is the major one we're going to work on also if you want and I'm probably going to do that off camera uh, Reichlin flesh shade and just go over all of her hand, all of the fleshy bits and that'll uh, deepen up the crevices I don't know I'm tired guys today it's it was a really long night night before this uh, so my brain is not working completely I apologize but anyway on to the Xerxes purple we are looking to do all of the highest spots on the cloaks and we want to leave the uh, the, sh the shade in in the in the recesses so you want to just go through and this is going to brighten up this cloak or cloaky thing I don't really know if this is a cloak a dress this her clothes her big purple clothes so so that I stop sounding completely like a re uh, uh, an idiot the cloth or her her patronly saint robes I don't know um so I'm going to do this. I'll, I'll show you what it looks like in a minute, guys. Okay, as you can see, I have brightened up that uh, purple cloth. I don't know what the hell it is anymore. Cloak, cloth, shirt, underwear. I don't know. It's probably it's all cloth. of her dress. Her robes. I have brightened them up some. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to uh, Iron Breaker. As I shake the whole world here in the camera. Um, and that is just to brighten up a little bit of the uh, of all of the metal on her so we're gonna kinda do this top pauldron here we'll leave the under ones we'll do here where we got that bad tide mark we'll do this one on his side And let's see, we'll do that there. Kind of and anytime you guys hear me cleaning my brush, it's just so that I can get a finer point on it. So that I can do what I want to do with it. We're gonna go there and we want to edge her pauldron. And we'll get the handguard can all go silver. Or brighter silver. So, I hope most of these videos are helping you guys and become motivated to paint. But as always, if you just don't have the time or the wanton, or even you feel that you don't have the skill, you can always contact me at the link at the end of the video. And, uh, get me to do some painting for you if that is if you like what I do um, we're gonna put a line up eh, never mind my s sloppy hands are gonna just do all most of the blade cover the top halves of the blades and it's just to kind of give it some light Let's see what else we can do here do kind of the kneecap here and I think we're gonna do this under piece right here and the toe cap and this is really one of those selective things you kind of do where you feel the light should be and you're trying to get the contrast of light a little bit 
And I apologize that I'm rocking my camera and making some of you nauseous. So we're going to brighten up her chest plate here. So we've got that. <coughs> Excuse me. Just kind of put a blob here, just a little bit there to shine up the elbow. So there we go. So that's that one. Next one we got for you is Kids Love Flesh. And this one we're just going to use to pick out her fingers. Nice thin lines. Picking out her fingers. And up this side with her hand. Same on this side. Very thin lines. And there, there, and there. There we go. And then finally, we're going to kind of just do a little bit in here. So there we go. Brighten it up, light, real nice, real nice there. And then the final color that we've got for you in our Edge highlighting series is Jean Steeler Purple. And this one we are literally. We just want to get the highest points, and you're just looking for small, light lines. The edges of her cloak here, this would be really nice. And again, as always with all of my uh, painting tips, I guess, is do what you feel comfortable with, and work your skill up to getting into those higher levels. If you don't think you can get to doing the fine lines, don't do the fine lines this week. Next week, try doing, you know, try doing it on a different model. Um, as always, you know, you want to keep practicing. I uh, hate, to, hate to use that old adage, but it's true. Practice makes perfect. Practice improves your skill, period. So you're looking to just do some edging. Um, you know, do like one up there, uh, like right there, and got this one right here, and probably this line there, and a lot of this is, I hate to sound negative when I say it, because I never want to teach you guys to be, or to hate what you're doing, but a lot of this is kind of busy work. Um, and it, what it does is it makes it pop on the field and it makes it pop in your eyes. And what it's doing is it's bringing light to the model. So what we would see is we see, uh, you know, if you were to take in it, you have to fit, you have to imagine where your light source is. And that's kind of how you, uh, do all of this. Um, So, I mean, and there's many ways you could do this. You could do this as directional lighting. You could do this as uh, object source lighting. You could have, you know, something shining on her. Now, again, she doesn't have a whole lot of... Yeah, your fingers make great uh, napkins, by the way, if you 
never tried using them. If you ever put paint on a spot that you don't want right away, as long as you get it while it's still kind of wet, you should be okay. So we can pull the paint off here. And we're always wanting to put on thin lines. If the thinner the line, the better. It's better to go back and do the same spot 12 times with a couple of thin coat with 12 thin coats and build the layers there than it is to do with one and not be satisfied with what you did. So keep that in mind. So something like that. Probably do. So we got a little bit of that. And there we go. Probably put a line up there. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to quick off camera paint up my base and I will give you a final spin around and show you what it looks like. All right, be right back. All right, and there we go. That is everything that I'm going to do to this model. I am quite pleased with this one, the way it turned out. I like it. Um, so this is Victoria from the, I don't know, Blood Moon Assassins versus the Elephant, I believe is the mm -hmm. one. She is a warrior priest. As always, remember, you'll be looking at her from about that far away, but being able to make it look amazing at that far away is great and if you can get up there being able to make it look amazing at that space is what you're looking for I hope this video has helped inspired you to uh, can want to paint to continue to paint but if that is something that you still don't have the time ambition or uh, wherewithal to get it done follow the link follow the link at the end of the video uh, Contact me on Facebook at uh, Warhammer Painting Panda Painting, also Warhammer PP at Facebook.com, uh, and maybe we can get together as far as collaborating for painting, and I can do some work for you. Um, this has been another Jaffo Paints video. There are many ways to do this. There are many ways you can paint a Victoria. I chose to show you guys how to do it as close as I could to the card. Hopefully, as I shake everybody into sickness, I hope you guys think that that is a close representation and enjoyed this. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe down below. If you uh, hit that like button to uh, follow me, all that, you know, YouTube and crap, uh, hit the like buttons, uh, give me a thumbs up, let me know that you enjoyed what you saw, and then uh, also... Hit that notification button out at the bottom there so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. New painting videos come out once a week. That's what I got for you. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.